This week, we can hunt for bargains around town and go on a scavenger hunt at the library. There are battle of the badges and jobs to be found, and we have important trash pickup information. All that and more this week in Westland. everyone had a fun, happy, and safe 4th of July holiday. Many businesses and offices were closed on Monday, including City Hall. Priority Waste, the city's trash hauler, was also not operating on the 4th. That means that trash curbside recycling and compost pickup will all be delayed by one day this week. If you have any questions regarding trash and compost pickup or our recycling program, please call the Department of Public Service at 734-728-1770. Speaking of our Public Service Department, right now they are creating a hire list for general laborers. The city will be conducting civil service testing to get a list of qualified applicants and any current and future openings. The position offers competitive pay and a comprehensive benefit package. All of the information, including an application, is available from the Westland Works page on our website. That page also has dozens of other job listings for the position right here in Westland. Simply go to cityofwestland.com and under the Doing Business tab, you will find a link to Westland Works. All this week, the Westland Library is inviting kids to join in a scavenger hunt. This is a great answer for when your kids say, there's nothing to do, I'm bored. Bring them up to the library on Central City Parkway and head for the youth desk. That is where they will pick up a challenge sheet and try to solve the clues for the scavenger hunt. All finishers will receive a prize. You can get more details by going to westlandlibrary.org. This is the weekend many bargain hunters wait for all year. It's the annual citywide garage sale. Residents all over town are setting out treasures that are calling your name. People will be selling everything from baby's clothes to sporting goods and tools. The sale will be on Saturday and Sunday, July 9th and 10th. The city will even help you promote your sale for free to help drive customers your way. You can register your sale on our website and include what types of items you are selling. If you are more in the market as a buyer, visit our website to streamline your shopping days and get directions to the sales that have just what you're looking for. So whether you are buying or selling, it all starts with a trip to the cityofwestland.com. We all appreciate the jobs that our first responders do every day. They are always ready to go into dangerous situations or burning buildings to keep our community safe and protected. You may not know it, but there is a little friendly rivalry between our public safety departments. The Westland Police and Fire Departments have faced off in a number of competitions. These have included basketball, football, dodgeball, and upcoming this week, softball. Police and fire personnel will be hitting the diamond at J.C. Park Saturday at 1 p.m. to compete for bragging rights and softball supremacy. In addition to the game, there will be home run derby, 50-50 raffle, food trucks, and plenty of public service vehicles on display. All proceeds will benefit the Westland Youth Athletic Association. J.C. Park is located at 6200 North Wildwood, and the fun starts at 1 p.m. This week on WLND Westland City Council, this meeting of the Westland City Council was held and recorded on Tuesday, July 5th, in the council chambers of Westland City Hall. Next Monday, July 11th, we all get the chance to be lifesavers. Blood supplies are very low all across the country and especially here in Wayne County. But you can help. 
The American Red Cross will be holding a blood drive at Westland City Hall from 10 a.m. until 3 p.m. You can spend just a little bit of your day donating blood, and that life-giving gift can save up to three lives. Plus, when you're done donating, you can sit down and enjoy some free cookies. Walk-in donors will be accepted, but it is requested that you make an appointment by going to redcrossblood.org. That wraps it up for this week. If you missed anything, check out the calendar page on cityofwestland.com for all of the details. You can also follow us on our socials for up-to-minute news and information. Thanks for watching!